All right. On today's episode of You Ain't Wrong, But You Wrong, we got some more bad cybersecurity advice, and we going to dissect this thing, man. Let's get into it. Only 500,000 people in the world have their CompTIA Network Plus. Only 500,000 people in the world have their CompTIA Security Plus. But not everybody who gets a Network Plus also has a Security Plus. The total number of people in the world right now who have their Network Plus and their Security Plus is probably closer to 50,000. But consider that we have over 750,000 unfilled cybersecurity jobs in the U.S. alone. Over 3 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs worldwide. So he starts off talking about how it's like 500,000 people with SEC Plus, 500,000 people with Net Network Plus, and only about 50,000 with both. We do not know how he's quantifying these numbers. He's just pulling them out of thin air. And then he goes on to talk about how many jobs there may be in cybersecurity. I think he said 750,000. And I'm going to show you in a second why you have to validate some stuff. All right. So this website is called CyberSeek. And as you see right there, it shows a total of 572,392 jobs that's open in cybersecurity. Now, we don't also know what they're all accounting for, but I'm also going to show you something else because I've broken this down in the longer video on our cybersecurity jobs actually entry level on my podcast. I'm going to show you what they are considering to be cybersecurity jobs. One second. All right. So I clicked on Oversee and Govern. And as you can see, they got IT Project Manager, IT Auditor, Others program manager and then they have three cyber jobs that lets you know they are conflating a lot of jobs in here when they say we have all these cybersecurity jobs that are open get your network plus and your security plus you're in a good position to start your career in cybersecurity you add in getting other certifications for minor skills like AZ900 and Splunk Core and then learn hard skills like Linux, Python, and traffic analysis, make an e-portfolio and a one-page resume, and all of a sudden you're at the top 1% of applicants without experience. I also want to add that just because you have a Net Plus and a Security Plus, it does not make you special. There's a lot of people that have those certifications. And even when he tries to throw in AZ900 and I think he said Linux and Python skills and doing this all in 90 days with a one-page resume and an e-portfolio. He's acting like it's very easy to do, but this is not the kicker. Watch this part. And enough to buckle down for 90 days and get it done. If you're one of those few that can see the vision for how you can start your cybersecurity career, it can and should be done in 90 days. I did it. A whole bunch of my students have done it. It's about 300 hours of hard study every day for 90 days. It's happened before and it'll happen again. He said 300 hours a day and you can do this thing. Listen, there's only 24 hours in a day. There's no way possible you can do three hours a day of studying in a 24-hour day. So that lets you know he knows it's impossible. And he's just talking because he wants you to get his stuff. Now, the skills that he are, is talking about in the video alone can help you. But trying to get them in 90 days overall is where the issue lies. That's going to be a lot of information to decompress and try to soak in and when it comes to the interview you may not even know how to answer about some of the stuff you supposedly learned also when you stack when you stack your certs interviewers tend to grade you a little bit harder on your interview sometimes because they feel like you're smarter than what you are and that's one of the things you got to watch out for so always 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 when you get advice on here tiktok or other social media source please try to verify to ask somebody that's in the field what do they think about what the people are saying because there's no way possible you're going to be ready to get some type of job in 90 days and learn all that stuff and be effective at it. Just trust me. You better off just learning Linux for 90 days versus trying to learn everything in 90 days. If you enjoyed that breakdown, please, please, please follow me, subscribe, check out my podcast, check out all the other videos on here that I've been giving y'all this free game with. All right. Comment below and let me know what you think.